Yo, what's up? Hello, people. My name is Clark Osario from Blue Dojo, and I'm your sensei for today. I posted on my LinkedIn talking about how much a hassle landscaping in Unreal Engine is, and um, I showed some few pictures of how I was able to bring a landscape of 3,578.48 kilometers square into Unreal Engine, which is actually this landscape here. And um, I used these two called um, landscaping to bring this kind of um, DMT, which is a digital twin um, landscape into Unreal Engine. So um, if I try playing here, you can see I have the landscape all hooked up in this engine. And it's able to handle it perfectly. And yeah, everything looks good in here. And um, if I try getting out of the camera, you can see it's really big. It's really, really big. Yeah. So, and I was able to do all of these using this tool called landscaping. Um, it's on the marketplace. You could buy this and use this. And um, it gives you the ability to bring in or import um, digital terrain models and support all common projections and resolutions and give you the ability to also bring in data of these formats into Unreal Engine. And it's just going to project the landscape onto Unreal Engine. So getting straight into this tutorial if you're new to this channel please subscribe to this channel and support this channel i noticed that most of you guys watching these tutorials have not really subscribed to this channel so please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell and to get notified whenever i post new tutorials so let's get straight into this tutorial the first thing that you need to do is to probably buy this and install it as a plugin and it will automatically hook into Unreal Engine. So to activate this, you need to go into plugin, then type landscaping and click on this to activate the plugin. And another thing that you need to do is to go into the project settings and um, go to plugins and activate and change it will actually be using crs to import but all you need to do is to change this to uh, automatically reproduce to appropriate utm crs and that's it you actually have this icon here where you'll be able to import your files into it so the question is how would you be able to get your files so places where you can get your data um there's this website called um usgs and you need to create an account with them in order to use their services and there's also viewfinder where you'll be able to click any of these boxes which contain data of the geographical area but i'm going to use at explorer for this tutorial so let's just find a good spot and try and generate the landscape so let's see i could go with near africa and there is port louise and all i need to do is to click on the use map and i'll get these points all i need to do is to find and get the right spot around the landscape. Yep. Okay, so I just want to generate this area. The next thing that I need to do is to go to the cloud coverage and more like set it to eight. Um, next, I could go to, let's see. Yeah, I'll go to data set and I'll look for digital elevation and go to SRTM and I'll just set it to SRTM void field and also look for Landsat and 
and um, go to Landsat Collection 2, level 1. And I'll choose this, the first one. All right. So all I need to do now is to go to the additional criteria and try and generate my height field. And if I check for the results, this is going to be what I'm going to get. So you can see there's a height map beneath this. And um, if I check the other side too, okay, I think this one does not have any information in there. So I'm going to use this one for my landscape generation. All I need to do is to click download and download the file. I'm going to download the GOTFF, TIFF for this landscape. Okay, so the next thing that I need to do, I'm just going to copy the lighting of this. Um, let's try select all descendants and um, copy. So I'm going to create a new level, go to an empty level and um, don't save. I don't need to save this and I'm just going to paste the light in here. All right. So the next thing that I need to do is to bring in my data and bringing in the data. All I need to do is to go to select, go to downloads and look for the file that I downloaded, which is this one. And the next thing is to go to options. And when you go into options, you will notice that the coordinate is actually tracking the same point that we set on the website. So I need to like trim the space to get, you know, around it, way around it. Okay. And I'm just going to save it. And now I have 4,626.34 kilometers square. And, um, all I need to do now is if you want to go into the nitty gritties of this, um, maybe I'll set my smoothing around one and cancel it. Next thing that I need to do is to import my landscape. Um, I need to save this. I'm going to name this map four. Yeah. And yeah, the landscape is generated. And we have our landscape here. All right, so um, it's actually using my landscape material and I need to put in or apply the landscape material to it. Um, let me go to the paint and try adding the grass um, feel. All right, um, I think it not feel. Let me just go directly into the landscaping UI and um, try and apply it from here. So I'm using the Brushify landscape material here and um, I need to open the material settings. Um, yep, got it here. Yep, uh, select this open and I need to go to this part and set it to grass and then replace. All right, so now I have this here. See, in your eyes, it could look small, but let me try bringing in OK. 
Okay, I just need this water. Copy. And I'm just gonna paste this water volume here. Alright, so we have like the basic shape of the landscape that we want and this is actually big. <laughs> Note that it's actually big. So if I try to put in my third person character into this map and um, let, let me just play from here, you will notice that, yeah there's like high elevations in this map and it is quite big <laughs> i'm just trying to bring it in front so that we see it okay let me try going to some good spot. Maybe around here. Uh, play. Yeah, so other things you can do to this is by painting your landscape where i could go to landscape and paint and in here i will be able to get access to my uh, let me just go here and if i want to paint this beach material here i could try painting it on it um, yep you just have to find um You can, I think you can improve the texture by um, tiling the texture. Uh, that's something. Try getting some uh, some shape around here, and yeah, I'm just put the a little bit yep. and yeah just play it from here and I have this here So yeah, this is this is just how to use this tool to bring in your landscape into Unreal Engine. So I'm going to end this tutorial. I've shown you guys how to get your data and bring it into Unreal Engine using this plugin. And if you have any question, please leave it in the comments and I'll be able to get to you and answer your questions. If you want other tutorials too, you can go on the on the creators page youtube and check the beginner tutorials and uh, if you're new to this channel please subscribe to this channel to support me and also i'll be bringing more exciting tutorials soon so get ready for it you know subscribe subscribe please subscribe <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right see you on the next one clockwise